Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is actually a series of videos that I'm doing and this is the last video in that series in which I'm uh, telling you uh, how to fly the Airbus A320neo which is a default plane for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. I was actually uh, trying to make different videos. Yes, ex exactly, because I'm, I'm just parked right in the middle of the runway. So that's why I'm getting this error. So let's uh, get out of the runway and uh, let me just take you through all the procedures that you perform uh, once you land at uh, the runway. So right now I'm stopped. You shouldn't be stopping at the runway. At the moment uh, you land, you uh, deactivate the reverse thrust, you put your thrust to the idle mode and then you give some power to your um, to your thrust and then you start to, uh, the taxi towards the gates. I've actually turned on this uh, taxi ribbon which you can activate from the settings. If you press escape and you go to the assistance options, uh, you will see in the navigation aids there is this taxi ribbon so keep it on for the beginners it's a very good aid you know uh, where to park you don't have to uh, consult the charts so um, soon after you land uh, the reverse thrust is activated the plane stops and it's uh, the speed is under control first of all you have to have to activate deactivate uh, the the spoilers as you can see it over here if you go out now the spoilers are deactivated and with this uh, set the flaps to zero because uh, we, you don't need flaps anymore so they have to be uh, set and uh, plus uh, let's release the parking brakes you shouldn't be applying the parking brakes i applied the parking brakes because the previous video i just landed and i just stopped in the middle of okay so now i am uh, starting the taxi towards the gates and uh, the parking brakes are released uh, flaps are set to zero and uh, the spoilers are also I should be moving. <laughs> Sorry for this. <laughs> the simulation was paused. I'm not doing it again. I'm kindly excuse me for this. I think we'll have an. I'll have. Uh, the, I was thinking why it's not uh, moving because I have activated uh, the active pause. <laughs> this thing happens. Long day for the last four hours. I'm just sitting down and making these videos and um, I'm really tired now. <laughs> I just want some break. I think the pilots don't even put so much stress on themselves. The, the amount of stress that I put on myself while making these videos. I think the taxi ribbon should appear again over here. But let's uh, exit the taxiway from here and then I think I can follow the ribbon. So you can see the terminal is on the right side. Yes, I am exiting the runway. So with this, now you have to actually activate uh, the APU because uh, soon after you are parked at the gate, you have to turn off the engines. And once you turn off the engines, the plane should have a power till the time uh, the GPU is connected to the plane. So the APU should be active. So now I've turned on the APU, master switch and plus activated the APU. So let's... Airbus uh Okay, so my ATC communication should be with the AI and uh, it is active, but I don't think so. It's communicating. It's very difficult. I think we should have. Uh, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it. My taxi ribbon just disappeared. Let me just open uh, the communication from here and let's uh, contact the way ground. And request taxi to the gates. Dubai ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero request taxi to the gate. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero taxi to gate Foxtrot two five using taxiway Mike seven Bravo cross runway tree zero left kilo for kilo Zulu one one Zulu. Yes, now the taxi ribbon is taxi there. To gate Foxtrot two five via taxiway Mike seven Bravo cross runway tree zero. So that's it. For kilo Zulu. Uh, let's see if uh, the APU is available. So it is available now. And uh, as soon as I park at the gate, I will turn off the engines and uh, you will see that everything is good. So uh, this is how you uh, perform some checks after the landing. And it's good to have the, the ribbon for the taxiways. I really like them. I don't have to open the charts and look at them. 
बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली इन द रियल लाइफ द पायलट हैज़ इट्स असिस्टेंस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑफिसर बट एज आई डोंट हैव इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट मे बी वेन आई वॉन्ट टू रीड द एयरपोर्ट चार्ज एंड आई रियली वॉन्ट टू फॉलो ऑल द प्रोसीजर दैन आई ओपन इट अदरवाइज आई जस्ट गो विद द टैक्सी वे रिबन इट्स ईजी टू फॉलो दीज रिबन्स I'm also planning to get a bigger screen so that um, the signs on the runway are clear. I can follow that those instructions. Last year in October, again uh, the same dates. I was there in uh, in Dubai. I was there for 14 days uh, for quarantine because in order to enter Riyadh, I had to spend 14 days in Dubai. But it was not actually a quarantine, but it was a quarantine before entering Riyadh. But in Dubai, I was free to roam about. I went to Expo. Uh, my first day in Expo was six, and the second day was on seventh. Those videos are also there on my channel. Hardly few people are watching. I think they are more interested in the flight simulation videos. But if you just go, you can also watch those videos. And uh, it was a good, exciting time. Uh, at that time, it was really hot in uh, Dubai. and plus humid so now i can see it's turning uh, right so let's turn right there is a plane already parked at the gate i think it will disappear <laughs> yes as per my experience if you go near these planes they disappear it should disappear yes thank you and uh, that's it so now i am at the gate and uh, let's slow down and uh, i'm at the gate and i can just stop i can engage the parking brakes reduce the thrust apu as you can see is now available so i can shut down the engines and uh, let's do it engines are on off and uh, plus i can then contact tower ground services and uh, power supply although you will see Dubai, the power Airbus supply Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 could you please send a ground power unit is appearing over here so let's go outside and see slightly off the yellow line but still i'm um, i'm good <laughs> i'm just uh, practicing in order to be you know properly aligned with this line and everything and if i connect the jetway uh, do the really uh, connect to the Dubai right ground point? airbus alpha sierra x-ray 320 could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft airbus alpha sierra x-ray 320 the jetway is going to be connected so now as uh, the ground power is there i can activate and the external power and i can turn off the apu oops sorry no, this button is not supposed to be pressed now you are hearing this error because uh, the door is getting open you can uh, click this master caution button and you can get rid of it it's getting connected let's see yes there's a distance i think the passengers have to jump from uh, this point to that point because i think i should have been on th on this line that's why this issue is there isn't it dangerous is it the way i've parked the plane or is it is there some error anyhow we're just going to ignore it as uh, real passengers are not coming just to show you the procedures so the jetway will be connected and uh, what else what else then you can call in for all the services With this, you can uh, turn off the fuel pumps because they are no longer required. Just before the takeoff, we can uh, turn on the fuel pumps, and uh, that's it. Oh, you forgot to turn off the seat belt signs and just turn off all the lights. They are no longer required. And that's it. And uh, what else? You can then call for the baggage services and for the catering services, and you can then just carry on with all the procedures on the ground. Just right, just like the way uh, you do it before the takeoff. With this, I would just like to end my video, and I think this was the, the last video in the series of the videos that I was doing for the Airbus A320 Neo, and I think I've covered all the topics. There is one topic left, which was uh, deleting the flight discontinuity in the flight factor uh, in the flight factor Airbus A320, Phoenix Airbus A320, and the. Airbus A320 Neo and plus the fly-by-wire. 
So those videos are there on my channel. If you make a flight plan and you find any kind of a discontinuity, you can just go and watch those videos. If you've got any questions, you can ask your questions in the comment section. I will be more than happy to give answer to your questions. And if you want to add something to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.